The lying tricep extension targets the muscles in the back of the upper arm. Lie back on a flat bench, holding an easy bar or a straight bar with a shoulder width or slightly narrower grip. Keep your upper arm perpendicular to the floor with your elbows pointing straight up towards the ceiling and bend at the elbows, lowering the weight to the top of your forehead. Extend the arms with control, pressing your arms back to a fully extended position. Lower and repeat. Do not let your upper arm move during this exercise and prevent your elbows from moving out away from the body. Keep your wrists straight and if possible, your feet planted on the floor. With the tricep cable pushdowns, keep your elbows locked at the sides of your body so that your upper arms do not move, and then extend your arms with control from just past 90 degrees at the elbows to full extension. With the dumbbell bicep curl, keep your elbows locked at the sides of your body so that your upper arms stay in line with the body, and then flex at both elbows bringing the dumbbells up towards your shoulders without letting your elbows move forward away from your body. Lower the dumbbells with control and repeat. This exercise can also be performed seated or, with, or by alternating each arm independently. Try not to lean back excessively or use momentum during this movement. The technique for the bicep barbell curl is very similar to the bicep dumbbell curl. Take a slightly wider than shoulder width grip as there is a natural outward angle at the elbows when your arms are in full extension. Use a full grip with your thumbs over the bar, with your palms facing up, exhale on exertion as you bend at the arms, and lower to full arm extension under control. This exercise can also be performed using the easy curl bar, which would change the angle of your grip. With the dumbbell chest flies, hold a dumbbell in each hand with your arms only slightly flexed at the elbows. Lower them out to the sides of the body until your arms are about parallel with the floor. And then contract the chest strongly as you bring them under control straight up above your chest. The dumbbells do not need to touch. Because of the leverage involved with this exercise, it's important to perform it with slow control and no swinging or bouncing. The dumbbell pullover is a great exercise for the lats, although there is some tricep and chest involvement as well. Take a deep breath in as you lower a dumbbell back behind your head until your arms are just past parallel to the floor. Exhale on exertion as you bring the dumbbell back up over your chest. Your arms should remain only slightly flexed at the elbows and maintain this elbow position throughout the movement so that you are not bending at the elbows and performing a tricep extension. Gradually increase your range of motion and load as you adapt to this movement. Reverse dumbbell flies target the muscles of your posterior shoulders and mid-back. Holding a dumbbell in each hand, lean forward over a bench set at a slight incline. With your hands pronated, Raise both arms out to the sides of your body, strongly contracting the back of your shoulders and your mid-back muscles. Avoid shrugging your shoulders upwards or excessively tensing your neck. This exercise can also be performed using different hand positions. Your elbows should be only slightly unlocked. Raise and lower the dumbbells under control without using excessive momentum. Face pulls are another great exercise for the upper back and rear shoulders. Using a cable or resistance bands, pull towards your chin or face keeping your elbows high and squeezing into the back of your shoulders and upper back. Side lateral raises target your medial deltoids, the side shoulder muscles. 
with a dumbbell in each hand and elbows slightly unlocked, extend both arms out to the sides of your body until they are parallel with the floor. Your palms should be facing downwards towards the ground at the top of the movement. Avoid using momentum or rocking the body back and forth and pause at the bottom. 